Hi guys, Gizigo here. Today I'll bring you my first video in English. Sorry for the windows being in Portuguese, but I couldn't change the language. I will teach you how to install thermal expansion for Minecraft 1.7.10 with some needed mods like CoFH Core, that is essential, Thermal Foundation that generates ores, and they are also essential. CoFHLib just can stop some crashes from happening and Thermal Dynamics, oh my god, this mod! This mod, I had a lot of trouble installing it uh, and it had some wires, power wires, power cords uh, and also fluid ducts uh, through Thermal Expansion and I had some trouble finding the old versions so a media fire copy will be down in the description Why? Some old mod files are deleted and they become harder to find in the internet. So I had some troubles uh, finding this old version of Thermal Dynamics for 1.7.10. First, you'll need to install Minecraft 4. Just go to google.com and google it. You go to the first link. I also did a video about installing Forge, but it is in Portuguese, so I guess you don't want to see it. You go to 1.7, uh, 1.7.10, which is our Minecraft version. I recommend you to pick the star one, uh, the most recent star one. I am using this one because my old my Forge installation is uh, two months old, and but you can pick the recent one. If there's a crash, I recommend you to go to the older versions you want to download the installer. In this case, I already downloaded it. It is very simple. You just need to go to your Minecraft folder. In this case, it will be the normal Minecraft folder. That's .minecraft in app data. Okay, now you need to go to your Minecraft launcher. In this case, I use Shinigma launcher. It's in Portuguese, but I think uh, I can translate it for you. Okay, Shinigma open, you come here to edit profile. In this case, I'm, I changed the Minecraft, uh, the Minecraft folder um, because I wanted to test some mods and they may crash my mod pack, so I didn't want to interfere with that. So you come here, open .minecraft or open game directory, it depends from the launcher, uh, and pay attention to a thing you need to run Forge first and run that version first uh, like what? you want to install Forge, you install it, ok? then you need to run 1.7.10 uh, in this case the version that we want to install and then you need to run 1.7.10 uh, this Forge version it will create a mods folder here it is and you will put our mods there ok um, so you open the mods folder. Okay, let's let's close Shinigma Launcher. I will need to launch the game. I don't know why I did this. Okay, you just need to drag these mods uh, to the mods folder, and they will work just fine. Okay, now let's launch the game. I close the launcher. I don't know why. So yeah, and you just press play. It will show this screen constructing mods um, and it may take a bit longer than normal Minecraft especially when you try to boot with a lot of mods okay it will say here 8 mods load if you go to mods you can see here CoFH Core, Thermal Foundation, Thermal Dynamics, Thermal Expansion um, and of course the Forge mod now let's start here a world and you can see how the mod works. Uh, I will not make a mod tutorial but yeah we have here a basic system that's filling the battery and here is our redstone furnace and in this redstone furnace I'll take something to burn like 64 cobblestones and they will start burning using electricity now uh, I may do other mod installing videos in English because tutorials are easier to make than gameplays but if you speak English, if you speak Portuguese please leave a like and subscribe the channel also activate notifications because you know YouTube subscription button doesn't work at all 
and if you want to receive more videos in English, please do it. Share this video with your friends and I am done. Bye from Gizego.